Another player that was kind of a bit genius came in the following season was Lubo, yeah. which was probably a highlight along with me, Alby, coming in with Dr. Joe. Were you surprised when Wim left so quickly? Yeah, we were devastated and um, it's probably been documented about how, you know, how it happened and um, we tried to stop it as a group of players. We, um, I remember us being in um, Estoril uh, but we've been taken away to play. Um, I think it was uh, Sporting Lisbon in a in an end of season game, which you know you don't want to play in those anyway when you've finished a season, let alone at the end of a season where you've just won the league. You just want to really relax, and and that was that was his last two or three days with us as a as a manager and, and as a, as a group of players. We did. We got together. I remember standing in a lift and saying, right, we need to do something about this. And we spoke to um, sent a letter through to Jock Brown expressing our um, uh, this pleasure that the fact that Vim wasn't being uh, encouraged to stay, but I think um, the measure of Vim was, although I, you know he didn't want, he didn't really want to leave, but he knew, um, or he gave the impression that there was a principle around it, and 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 we respected that as a group of players. We didn't like it, but um, you know we'd come to um, uh, really admire him as a man over that uh, twelve months. Um, you know, and I think the biggest thing was that he trusted us, and 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 obviously worked under quite a few managers as a player and and as a coach. But he he, I remember him only really saying stuff to me on one occasion about keeping my back four um, further up the field, and and so for the for the rest of the season, he he knew he just let me get on with my job. And when someone allows you to do that, that's that's a massive vote of of faith in you anyway, and especially as a goalkeeper. Yeah, and confidence. Yeah. Like, and obviously, he's a good that, that Wim's gone, but the doctor comes in. Yeah. And I suppose the highlight of that season was a game that you missed, which was the 5 1. <laughs> Tony Wall up, up and low. And were you injured then? <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, I was injured. I think I, I'm not sure which one it was. It was either when I got injured to play against FC Zurich in Europe. I think I did my knee and uh, Tony came in. But I remember being in the stand and, and knowing what it was like to, to uh, thump Rangers um, um, from a, a supporter's perspective on that day. Um, and you're right, it was probably the, the birth of uh, Lubo Mravchik. And again, um, you know, an amazing talent. And, and even though he was a, a little bit older, uh, he still had the ability uh, to turn the game on, on a sixpence and did it on a number of occasions for us. Yeah, he was a magnificent player, magnificent to watch, and and he had great longevity as well. Because when you think he played through right through to O'Neill, and I know he used yeah. them, he used them sparingly at times, but magnificent yeah. to watch. And another player that came in then was Mialbi. Now, yeah, you spoke there about the the back the back four yeah. that that was there when you came in. Now, if, yeah. obviously Martin played a back three. If you could pick a back three or, or a back four out of all those players under all those managers. Is it a hard job or, or does a couple of players just stick out that you would pick to have in front of you any day in a big game? Yeah, for kind of different reasons as well. Um, I love the fact that Mark Reed was six foot four and could head a ball. Cause, uh, it, it Do with him this season, last season. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, because when that ball's coming in your box, you want someone that's fairly dominant. I remember having Colin Hendry a couple of times when I played for Scotland and you love having him in, in a certain position. I loved the fact that um, I had someone like Stubbsy encouraging me to actually roll the ball out and um, so we could start play from the back. Uh, and he, you knew he had the technical ability. Um, and like you say, um, um, Dolph Lundgren or um, Johan Mialbi, or however you want to call him, um, yeah, he was he was just a proper rugged defender. I quite liked uh, Johan when he played in front of the back four because I thought he um, he gave that defensive understanding and a little bit of added security. Um, but, you know, it'd be remiss of me to say because you know, Tommy Boyd played centre half quite a lot for for us when I was there. Um, you know, and, and Rico Anoni in that in that year was excellent. And, and I, I remember Big Malky Mackay coming in on several occasions and doing a fabulous job. Um, you, you, if you think of that, that you know there was there was there wasn't a dearth of centre backs. And then we had uh, Jos Val Haran, even Ram, Ram uh, under Martin O'Neill. But so it is really difficult for me to to pick a um, a back back four um, out of that. And I would go back four because I like two centre forwards. 